In particle physics, the weak interaction is the mechanism responsible for the weak force or weak nuclear force. One of the four known fundamental interactions of nature, alongside the strong interaction, electromagnetism, and gravitation, the weak interaction is responsible for the radioactive decay of subatomic particles, and it plays an essential role in nuclear fission. The theory of the weak interaction is sometimes called quantum flavor dynamics, in analogy with the terms QCD and QED, but the term is rarely used because the weak force is best understood in terms of electro-weak theory. In the standard model of particle physics, the weak interaction is caused by the emission or absorption of W and Z bosons. All known fermions interact through the weak interaction. Fermions are particles that have half-integer spin. A fermion can be an elementary particle, such as the electron, or it can be a composite particle, such as the proton. The masses of W+, plus, W-, minus, and Z bosons are each far greater than that of protons or neutrons, consistent with the short range of the weak force. The force is termed weak because its field strength over a given distance is typically several orders of magnitude less than that of the strong nuclear force and electromagnetic force. During the quark epoch, the electro-weak force split into the electromagnetic and weak forces. Important examples of weak interaction include beta decay and the production from hydrogen of deuterium needed to power the sun's thermonuclear process. Most fermions will decay by a weak interaction over time. Such decay also makes radiocarbon dating possible, as carbon-14 decays through the weak interaction to nitrogen-14. It can also create radioluminescence, commonly used in tritium illumination and in the related field of beta voltaics. Quarks, which make up composite particles like neutrons and protons, come in six flavors, up, down, strange, charm, top and bottom, which give those composite particles their properties. The weak interaction is unique in that it allows for quarks to swap their flavor for another. For example, during beta minus decay, a down quark decays into an up quark, converting a neutron to a proton. Also, the weak interaction is the only fundamental interaction that breaks parity symmetry, and similarly, the only one to break CP symmetry. History in 1933, Enrico Fermi proposed the first theory of the weak interaction, known as Fermi's interaction. He suggested that beta decay could be explained by a full fermion interaction, involving a contact force with no range. However, it is better described as a non-contact force field having a finite range, albeit very short. In 1968, Sheldon Glashor, Abduz Salam and Steven Weinberg unified the electromagnetic force and the weak interaction by showing them to be two aspects of a single force, now termed the electro-weak force. The existence of the W and Z bosons was not directly confirmed until 1983. Properties The weak interaction is unique in a number of respects. It is the only interaction capable of changing the flavor of quarks. It is the only interaction that violates P or parity symmetry. It is also the only one that violates CP symmetry. It is propagated by carrier particles that have significant masses, an unusual feature which is explained in the standard model by the Higgs mechanism. Due to their large mass, these carrier particles, termed the W and Z bosons, are short-lived. They have a lifetime of under 1 times 10 minus 24 seconds. The weak interaction has a coupling constant of between 10 minus 7 and 10 minus 6, compared to the strong interaction's coupling constant of about 1 and the electromagnetic coupling constant of about 10 minus 2. Consequently, the weak interaction is weak in terms of strength. The weak interaction has a very short range. At distances around 10 minus 18 meters, the weak interaction has a strength of a similar magnitude to the electromagnetic force, but this starts to decrease exponentially with increasing distance. 
At distances of around 3 times 10 minus 17 meters, the weak interaction is 10,000 times weaker than the electromagnetic. The weak interaction affects all the fermions of the standard model, as well as the Higgs boson. Neutrinos interact through gravity and the weak interaction only, and neutrinos were the original reason for the name weak force. The weak interaction does not produce bound states, something that gravity does on an astronomical scale, that the electromagnetic force does at the atomic level, and that the strong nuclear force does inside nuclei. Its most noticeable effect is due to its first unique feature, flavor changing. A neutron, for example, is heavier than a proton but it cannot decay into a proton without changing the flavor of one of its two down quarks to up. Neither the strong interaction nor electromagnetism permit flavor changing, so this must proceed by weak decay. Without weak decay, quark properties such as strangeness and charm would also be conserved across all interactions. All mesons are unstable because of weak decay. In the process known as beta decay, a down quark in the neutron can change into an up quark by emitting a virtual W- boson which is then converted into an electron and an electron. Antineutrino Another example is the electron capture, a common variant of radioactive decay, where a proton in an electron within an atom interact and a change to a neutron and an electron neutrino. Due to the large mass of a boson, weak decay is much more unlikely than strong or electromagnetic decay, and hence occurs less rapidly. For example, a neutral pion has a life of about 10 minus 16 seconds, while a charged pion lives about 10 minus 8 seconds, a hundred million times longer. In contrast, a free neutron lives about 15 minutes. Weak isospin and weak hypercharge all particles have a property called weak isospin, which serves as a quantum number and governs how that particle interacts in the weak interaction. Weak isospin therefore plays the same role in the weak interaction as electric charge does in electromagnetism, in color charge in the strong interaction. All fermions have a weak isospin value of either plus one half or minus one half. For example, the up quark has a T3 of plus one half and the down quark minus one half. A quark never decays through the weak interaction into a quark of the same T3. Quarks with a T3 of plus one half decay into quarks with a T3 of minus one half and vice versa. In any given interaction, weak isospin is conserved. The sum of the weak isospin numbers of the particles entering the interaction equals the sum of the weak isospin numbers of the particles exiting that interaction. For example, a pi plus with a weak isospin of 1 normally decays into a new mu and a mu plus. Following the development of the electroweak theory, another property, weak hypercharge, was developed. It is dependent on a particle's electrical charge and weak isospin, and is defined as where YW is the weak hypercharge of a given type of particle, Q is its electrical charge and T3 is its weak isospin. Whereas, some particles have a weak isospin of zero, all particles, except gluons, have non-zero weak hypercharge. Weak hypercharge is the generator of the U component of the electroweak gauge group. Interaction types there are two types of weak interaction. The first type is called the charged current interaction because it is mediated by particles that carry an electric charge and is responsible for the beta decay phenomenon. The second type is called the neutral current interaction because it is mediated by a neutral particle, the Z boson. Charged current interaction in one type of charged current interaction. A charged lepton can absorb a W plus boson and be thereby converted into a corresponding neutrino, where the type of neutrino is the same as the type of lepton in the interaction. For example, similarly, a down type quark can be converted into an up type quark by emitting a W minus boson or by absorbing a W plus boson. More precisely, the down-type quark becomes a quantum superposition of up-type quarks. 
that is to say, it has a possibility of becoming any one of the three uptype quarks, with the probabilities given in the CKM matrix tables. Conversely, an uptype quark can emit a W plus boson, or absorb a W minus boson, and thereby be converted into a downtype quark. For example, the W boson is unstable so will rapidly decay, with a very short lifetime. For example, decay of the W boson to other products can happen, with varying probabilities. In the so-called beta decay of a neutron, a down quark within the neutron emits a virtual W- boson and is thereby converted into an up quark, converting the neutron into a proton. Because of the energy involved in the process, the W- boson can only be converted into an electron and an electron antineutrino. At the quark level, the process can be represented as Neutral current interaction In neutral current interactions, a quark or a lepton emits or absorbs a neutral Z boson. For example, like the W boson, the Z boson also decays rapidly. For example, electroweak theory. The standard model of particle physics describes the electromagnetic interaction and the weak interaction as two different aspects of a single electroweak interaction. The theory of which was developed around 1968 by Sheldon Glashor, Abdus Salam and Steven Weinberg. They were awarded the 1979 Nobel Prize in Physics for their work. The Higgs mechanism provides an explanation for the presence of three massive gauge bosons and the massless photon of the electromagnetic interaction. According to the electroweak theory, at very high energies, the universe has four massless gauge boson fields similar to the photon and a complex scalar Higgs field doublet. However, at low energies, gauge symmetry is spontaneously broken down to the U-symmetry of electromagnetism. This symmetry breaking would produce three massless bosons, but they become integrated by three photon-like fields giving them mass. These three fields become the W+, plus, W-, minus, and Z bosons of the weak interaction, while the fourth gauge field, which remains massless is the photon of electromagnetism. This theory has made a number of predictions, including a prediction of the masses of the Z and W bosons before their discovery. On 4 July 2012, the CMS and the ATLAS experimental teams at the Large Hadron Collider independently announced that they had confirmed the formal discovery of a previously unknown boson of mass between 125 to 127 GeV, C2, whose behavior so far was consistent with a Higgs boson, while adding a cautious note that further data and analysis were needed before positively identifying the new boson as being a Higgs boson of some type. By 14 March 2013, the Higgs boson was tentatively confirmed to exist. Violation of symmetry. The laws of nature were long thought to remain the same under mirror reflection, the reversal of one spatial axis. The results of an experiment viewed via a mirror were expected to be identical to the results of a mirror reflected copy of the experimental apparatus. This so-called law of parity conservation was known to be respected by classical gravitation, electromagnetism and the strong interaction. It was assumed to be a universal law. However, in the mid-1950s Chen Ningyang and Sung Dao Li suggested that the weak interaction might violate this law. Although the weak interaction used to be described by Fermi's theory, the discovery of parity violation and renormalization theory suggested that a new approach was needed. In 1957, Robert Marshak and George Sudarshan and, somewhat later, Richard Feynman and Murray Gell-Mann proposed a V minus a Lagrangian for weak interactions. In this theory, the weak interaction acts only on left-handed particles. Since the mirror reflection of a left-handed particle is right-handed, this explains the maximal violation of parity. Interestingly, the V-A theory was developed before the discovery of the Z boson, so it did not include the right-handed fields that enter in the neutral current interaction. However, this theory allowed a compound symmetry CP to be conserved. 
CP combines parity P with charge conjugation C. Physicists were again surprised when in 1964, James Cronin and Val Fitch provided clear evidence in K on decays that CP symmetry could be broken to, winning them the 1980 Nobel Prize in Physics. In 1973, Makoto Kobayashi and Hoshihide Maskawa showed that CP violation in the weak interaction required more than two generations of particles, effectively predicting the existence of a then-unknown third generation. This discovery earned them half of the 2008 Nobel Prize in Physics. Unlike parity violation, CP violation occurs in only a small number of instances but remains widely held as an answer to the difference between the amount of matter and antimatter in the universe. It thus forms one of Andrei Sakharov's three conditions for baryogenesis.